It's about the 29th today, isn't it, Ellen? Mm -hmm. About the 29th today. I think it is, yes. The, uh, the windburrs are just getting ripe. They are, there's some I can pick here actually. Right ones. Yeah. Down on my uh, well, one well, of my half allotments. I've just been chucking in some uh, Jerusalem artichokes, which I had in the fridge, which is just about had it, and I thought I'd just put put plant them now just to see um, see what uh, what they did. You know, planting on the um, 29th of July. I just bunged them in basically. Uh, um, very very rough. Uh, just along there, and they may do as a windbreak, or they may come to me, I don't know. Sweet corn's doing well. Uh, these potatoes here I planted about three weeks ago, so at the beginning of July. They're just the, uh, they're, there's, there's some that I where are we? There's some there that uh, never quite got round to putting in. There were just some little ones that um, that I'd saved. They're Sarpo Mara, so they're blight resistant. And um, they should be good. Uh, same as same as those over there, but they they went in a bit earlier. And, and we're also digging some now, so the, the timing of them seems quite flexible. Fuchsia lots. This weed is called. Where are we? This weed is called fat hen, and uh, it's said that the gypsies eat it. I've tried it, but it's not that wonderful. Let's try a bit now. It tends to be a bit sort of. No, it's not bad. Hmm. It can be a bit sort of, sort of leave a sort of gritty taste in the mouth, but that's not bad. A bit bland. I think what it tastes of in a minute. Um, don't need to eat that because we've got plenty of lettuces. I think these are a little gem. I'm not sure. And one's gone up to seed there. That'd be all right. So the chicks, they quite like a nibble at a bit of lettuce. Um, these onion sets have um, like more or less finished. They were stir on. Someone gave me those. There was a whole load of them. So they've done all right. Broad beans are more or less over. Um, we're going to have a look in to see if we can find any any suitable for eating. But I think they're a bit past it. So I'll probably just leave them for seed. Let them dry out on the stems. Um, see that one? That one is past it. Just taking off and have a look inside. So I'm See if I can uh, open a broad bean with one hand. Maybe a mouth as well. <laughs> right, that's got it. Now, with a broad bean, once it's got that black eye, see there, that means they're a bit tough. Um, now whether these these little ones, these little ones will probably be all right. That's not got anything in. That one's quite, yeah, that, they'll probably be all right. We've got guests coming on Thursday, so see if we can find some out. But they've done well. What else can I say? Hmm. Not a lot for down here. Um, the wind's getting up now. We've got a wind from the east. I was going to turn the camera around and show 
the Jerusalem artichokes that have been growing since the spring and they're uh, eight or nine feet high now but I can't show that because the wind will get in the mic. Anyway, bye for now.